So, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. I asked you first. Something's not quite right. Oh, hang on. That's a lot better. A lot better. Full show. And welcome to our painting series. We're going to kick it off by talking about color. Yes, and any discussion about color pretty much has to start with a discussion about the color wheel. So what's with the wheel? Um, it's just a convenient way to lay out your colors in a way that you can see how they interact with each other. Uh, it goes back a long way at Isaac Newton's time, I think. Um, and you did one up yourself recently, didn't you? Yes, so why don't we take a look? So I think we've all seen printed color wheels at our local art, su art supply store. Are they any good? Well, they serve a purpose, I suppose. But remember, these are printed using printer's inks. It's not the same as building your own wheel with your own paints. True. This exercise really shows you how your colors interact with one another. Um, which ones are stronger, which ones gray out easily, etc. So, what's the general approach? general idea is to start with your primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Um, we'll talk some more in another video about the actual pigments like cobalt blue or cadmium red, etc. But for now, let's just talk in terms of very just basic colors. Okay, so what is a primary color? Um, think of it as a color that can't be broken down any further. Um, it can't be made with other colors, like a prime number in math that can't be divided any further. Um, and actually, I forgot this to say, this color wheel that I'm painting here, I am actually only using primary colors. So um, the secondary colors I'm painting here are all mixed with, with my primary. So. so all the colors are made with the primary colors. Yes, I've got two reds, two yellows, and two blues in the mix. Got it. Okay, so what about white then? Where, where does that factor in? Uh, well, white isn't really a color. It just changes the value. Um, in other words, how light or how dark something is. It doesn't change the essence of the color um, and so or the chroma. So even though we might describe something in terms of red or pink, really they're the same color for the purpose of this exercise. Indeed, and in fact you probably have to add some white into blue for instance. Uh, you can, uh, As you can see, the color straight out of the tube is very very dark. Um, True, um, and again that doesn't change the color, it's just changing the value. Right, and the secondary colors are mixtures of any two primaries. So that gets you orange, green, and purple. Exactly, and then put any three colors together and that's when you start getting the tertiaries. So these would be your browns and your grays, for example. Yes, but um, it's actually more useful to think of them in terms of muted versions of the primary colors. That, yeah, that encourages you to be aware of the dominant color in the mixture. Yes. And that comes into play when you start looking at complementary colors. Yes, playing a strong red, for example, against a muted green. As you can see, these are opposites diagonally um, on the color wheel, just like purple and yellow, just like blue and orange. Exactly. Um, and we'll get into more detail in a later video about complementaries. Um, but these, these tertiary colors, they, they might look dull in, uh, by themselves, but they are a key to bringing a rich color palette to a painting. So as we approach the center of the wheel, you'll see that we're getting more and more gray. It looks like you're adding, so, so that gray there is basically blue, but you're adding a little bit of orange into it to exactly. kind of dull it down. Just dull it down, exactly. So... also see a sense of the color temperature as well. The colors on the left tending to be a little cooler, the ones in the right hand side are tend to be warmer colors. So the color wheel pretty much divides diagonally as well in terms of temperature. In half. Yeah. So one half is warmer, one half is cooler. And as we get in towards closer to the center, the colors are getting more and more neutral. get to the very 
primary center and essentially you're getting black although again this is not a painted black this is just a mixture of all the three colors in equal strengths. So the outside rings are the outside ring is sort of the more pure colors and as you get gradually closer to the center, center it eventually gets the black. The most mixed and there you have it folks, that about wraps it up for our quick spin around the color wheel. We highly recommend trying this out at home on your own, whether you're a seasoned painter or a beginner. Uh, color wheel is never a bad idea to and practice. Let us know in the comments how you got on and what kind of lessons you took away from the exercise. If you like this video, hit that like button. And watch out for future videos because we're going to be getting into a lot more detail about the color wheel. Bye! Bye.